Sun Perfection B39. This is an excellent affordable scanner which scans photos and documents. This scanner is very easy to use. It connects to your computer just by using an USB and it scans up to 4,800 dots per inch. What you will need for this tutorial along with your scanner is some artwork. Here we are using an A4 bit of paper with some watercolour flowers. Once the scanner is all set up, place your desired artwork face down on the scanning bed. Make sure it lines up as best as it can, then close the scanner lid. Now we're going to open the scanning software. This already comes with Epson and is relatively easy to download. Here's a quick overview of what it has to offer. All we need for this tutorial is to press scan, then this should pop up. To achieve the best results, we want to select the professional mode. Check all of your details are the same as mine and change the resolution to 600 dpi. dpi is dots per inch. This will achieve higher quality and the accuracy from artwork to your computer. Now I'm going to select preview just to double check that everything looks okay. Everything that I want to be scanned is within the frame and the quality looks good. So now we can cross this off and press scan. Once the scan is complete, close this window and now your artwork should appear as an image. And to save this image, go to file and save to folder. The best option for this tutorial is to save the file as a PNG. Now we can click OK. Now we're going to open the software Krita, open file, then open the scanned image we just saved. Personally, I prefer to work on the image horizontally, but this just comes down to preference. Now what we're going to do is cut around each flower. This will allow us to move all the elements separately, which later on will make it easier to create a repeated design. Use the polygonal tool and click around the flower. Do this until you finish where you started. To finalise the cut of the flower, you must click on the dot where you started. Now while your element is selected, press copy and paste. I use Ctrl and C that are on my keyboard to copy the selected flower. Then I use Ctrl and V to paste. Once the element is pasted, this will now appear in your layers panel, which is on the far right of your screen. Now you can see the flower is by itself and now has a transparent background. Because I want to use this element for a repeat design, I want to enhance it. So what I'm going to do is up the saturation and lower the lightness. To speed things up, I have already cut out all of my flowers, which you can see in my layers panel. I am going to adjust the saturation and lightness on all of them. To do that, I have to click on each layer and that will adjust the settings of each flower. If you would like to move any of the flowers, or in this case, your elements, just make sure you're on the correct layer, then use the move tool, which is on the far left of your screen. When you are finished, we can now save the canvas. To do that, go to file, save as, and make sure you save it as a PNG. 
What PNG does is if there is no background on your image, it will stay that way. And this will make it easier for when you make a repeat design and you can move the elements, or in my case, flowers, about with no background. Now we're going to open a new document. Make sure you set the canvas size to be the scale you would like your elements to be. I am going for 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres as I would like my flowers to be roughly that size on my repeat design. This means when I want to print my repeat design onto fabric, the flowers will be roughly 10 centimetres. Now I'm going to go back to the document we saved earlier and I'm going to copy and paste one layer at a time to the new document that we've just made. Now I'm going to use the resize tool and I'm going to scale the flower to fill the majority of this canvas. We don't want the background with this flower, so I'm going to click the eye next to the background layer and that will hide all of the white background. Once you have done that, go to File, Save As, and make sure you save as PNG. Now that you have saved your first element, feel free to delete the elements layer, but keep the canvas and repeat the process for each element. Just make sure you always click save as and never save. So this is my last element that I want to save. I want to show you quickly how this would work, taking your elements and making a repeat design. If you want a more in-depth explanation of how to create a seamless repeat, then please click on the link in the description below. Now we're going to open a new document. Set the canvas size to the scale you would like your repeat design to be. I'm doing 3000 pixels, which is roughly 25 centimeters and this time I'm going to do 300 resolution and then click OK. Once your canvas has been created, open the folder where all your elements have been saved. Now you can see they have no background. Drag and drop one at a time onto your new document. By placing the element in the corner of your canvas, just to begin with so you can see the true size of it, scale and move until you're happy with the size of your element. Now it's up to you to place the elements wherever you would like to create your repeat design. Now there you go, you have taken your artwork and scanned it into your computer and then separated it to create individual elements.
This will all help to create your final repeat design. Here's an example of what we've done with the floral elements. Please always remember to double check the scale of your elements and your final repeat design. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.